Welcome back to the Urban Farmyard where the city girl goes country. Today we're doing a little bit of a thrift haul. Let's go take a look at what I've found. Hi guys, well one of my favourite things to do since I've moved to the country is going op shopping or as you call it in the UK or US, thrift shopping. There are very few shops around the area that I live in. There are certainly no shopping malls, there are no dress shops and all the other stores that I used to go to simply aren't on my doorstep. They're at least an hour's drive away. That means that I've had to find other things to do with my time other than using shopping as a form of recreation and one of the things that I have begun to do is go op shopping. We're really lucky here in the area that I live in that we have two gorgeous second hand stores about 10 minutes drive from the sanctuary and they are a wonderful source of all sorts of goodies. I've also been picking up a few items second hand online and getting them shipped to the sanctuary door so let's go and have a look at what I've found. One of my favourite finds is this gorgeous pink enamel ice bucket. It's from a company called 42 Below which is a New Zealand vodka producer and this particular bucket was produced for their 10th anniversary. It is absolutely gorgeous and it goes perfectly with my kitchen. I've got a gorgeous jug and toaster which are pale pink in my kitchen and I think this goes beautifully with it. Now my plan for this is actually not to use it as an ice bucket. I tend to keep wine and other alcohol in the fridge rather than putting it on ice on the table. So what I'm doing instead is I am turning it into a herb planter. I think the pop of green from the herbs against the pale pink enamel looks absolutely amazing. Now one of the other things I've picked up for the kitchen is a gorgeous collection of crystal glasses. There are some absolutely beautiful ones turning up in the op shop. Unfortunately they generally come in sets of five rather than the original sets of six but given that I have concrete floors here and things don't always survive if they fall, having a set of five and gradually reducing from there is not the end of the world. The first ones I picked up are these gorgeous Durand brandy glasses. They are just beautiful. These were released I think sometime in the 1970s and they have this beautiful frosted petal effect on the bottom. They again came in a set of five and I've been using them basically every day. They're just beautiful. One of the things I really enjoy drinking is champagne or bubbles of some sort and so I bought two different types of champagne glasses. The first are these gorgeous little etched glasses. They're quite small from a champagne perspective but I guess back in the day when these were produced people People tend to drink smaller quantities of alcohol than what we do now and so they are a little bit on the small size but still a pretty decent pour. So those are my beautiful little etched ones. Also for champagne is this more traditional style, this gorgeous little etched set. Aren't they beautiful? Now the amazing thing with these is I picked them up for only one or two dollars per glass which is an absolute steal. I'm absolutely delighted with them. The other thing I've been picking up is a selection of clothing for here at the farm. I have found over winter that I've been slipping into loungewear so basically sort of trackies and tracky tops which you've seen in a lot of the videos and I started to realize that dressing like that made me feel like I was sitting in pajamas all day and it was really affecting my mood. So I've made a conscious effort to stop doing that and to actually start dressing properly with hair blow dried, makeup on and decent clothes on each day. And in order to do that I have gone and done a little bit of shopping and found some gorgeous clothes. The first is this gorgeous Moochie top which I found online. Now Moochie is another New Zealand brand who produce the most beautiful clothes. Now I picked up this particular top I think for about $30 and they retail for well over 100 locally. Now certainly I don't need to be wearing sequins around the farm but you know what it brings a little bit of my city life into the country with me which I really enjoy. Another absolute steal were these Halewood jeans. Again Adrian Halewood is a New Zealand designer and these jeans retail for $400. I picked them up for $4.50. $4.50 and they fit absolutely perfectly. I've found since I've been living here at the farm I basically live in jeans over winter and spring and autumn so they are pretty much a staple in my wardrobe so you'll see a few pairs of jeans here that I've picked up. The next top I've picked up 
is one that I'm not sure I'm going to keep. It's from an Australian label named Sass and Bide. Now it looked lovely online but when it arrived I looked at it and thought you know what the colour's not really me and it doesn't really feel particularly glamorous. It doesn't make me feel amazing wearing it but I will wear it a couple of times, see how I feel and I may actually end up donating this back. It's a lovely distressed style of t-shirt which is super easy to wear. It's just not my favourite of the ones that I've picked up. But to be honest it cost me $6.50 plus shipping so I'm not doing too badly because these t-shirts retail for over $200 in store. The next one I've picked up I absolutely love. Again it's from Sass and Bide and again it's one that retails for over $200 in store and I picked this up for only $20 or $30 online. It's an absolutely gorgeous piece. One of the things I really like about it is it's shorter at the front and longer at the back. I think it's a really elegant type of t-shirt which looks absolutely beautiful on. So this is one that I will absolutely wear. Next up is another pair of jeans. Now I have started buying a lot of jeans online. In fact I don't think I've bought any in store for quite some time and one style which I found works really well for me are Lee Riders and so I was delighted when I found some of these in my local op shop. Now these being black are not the most practical colour here at the farm because I have a lot of cats and black does tend to show fur but so long as I've got a lint roller with me when I'm heading out they're not too bad and they fit absolutely perfectly. They are gorgeous skinny jeans which I can sink into a pair of boots and and they look pretty stylish with a gorgeous top and they were only six dollars. The next one I bought again is another Sass and Bide top. I really really like Sass and Bide. They've got gorgeous flowy tops which look amazing over a pair of jeans or with shorts or a little skirt in summer. Now I'm not too sure how this one is going to go. I really like the colour and the fabric but because it's metallic and quite sheer I'm not too sure how it's going to go with cat claws so that remains to be seen. Again this is a gorgeous floaty high low top so short at the front longer at the back which I really like. So this one again retails for well over $200 and I picked it up I think for about $40 online. So not as cheap as my $4.50 jeans but still a really good buy compared to its in-store price. The last thing that I have picked up again was another steal. I live in knee-high boots over winter. I find them really lovely to wear and I think they look pretty stylish. I found this gorgeous pair of beautiful grey leather knee-high boots which fit perfectly and they were only five dollars. Now all I needed to do was give them a little bit of love when they arrived. They were looking a little bit dried out so I treated them with leather conditioner and then gave them a good polish with neutral nugget and they've come up a treat. They were an absolute steal. For five dollars they were an amazing addition to my wardrobe. So there we have it, this month's op shopping. If you haven't been thrifting, it's well worth going and checking out your local secondhand stores. Honestly, I get more satisfaction from finding deals secondhand than I would have done going and dropping, say, $500 at a local shopping mall. I hope you've enjoyed today, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.